Panda. Hello. This right here is the all new Pando Robot by Liju Robot, a company we've seen before that's also made the AOS 1S. We previously reviewed this and it's actually a very good entertainment robot. Now this particular robot is designed for STEM education, meaning you can teach a child at the ages of 8 and above about programming, both by blocky programming as well as action programming, meaning simple drag and drop in the app or you can physically go ahead and move the different servos and animate it using that. Now this features 16 servos which is actually a lot for its price, meaning at $299 you get a robot that can dance yoga as well as playing soccer which is actually pretty cool. Now it has a different sensor such as touch sensors here as well as an ultrasonic sensor here to go ahead and do it in terms of objects avoidance. Now in this episode here we'll be going and unboxing it, looking at the details as well as trying it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this here is our bot. It says Pando on the top here aka the intelligent humanoid robot. Now as we rotate it you can see that on the back here it talks about the robot just a little bit more in terms of details go. So it has emotion interaction, blocky programming, meaning you can go ahead and program it using the app itself. It's got action programming as well. You can also have gesture control. So you can actually go ahead and read your gestures just simply by waving your hand. It knows where to go. Now it also has optical detection. So it does have the ultrasonic sensors in there to see where it is going. So you can go ahead and maneuver around those positions. Now it also has a BT control optional, meaning you can go ahead and purchase a second controller and control it without the app giving you full access to the robot. Nice! <laughs> so there is our Pando robot. Uh, we have ourselves a user manual. Now the user manual will go ahead and step by step explain to you how to go ahead and use this robot. Now this here is what we're here for. This here is our Pando robot. <laughs> So, wow, that's actually a very, very cool design. Now, it has a more space age look compared to the other humanoid robots. Uh, most of the other humanoid robots we've seen tend to not have that friendly appearance uh, as this robot does. Now, looking at the robot from top to bottom, we have ourselves a head touch sensor here on the top. Uh, so we can go ahead and initiate that in terms of the robot goes. So in terms of programming, if you touch them on the head, it'll perform an action. Uh, then we have ourselves a gesture sensor as well. So it has a camera in there which can go ahead and detect gestures. So if you go ahead and do like a wave, it'll go ahead and respond. Uh, it has an emotion display. So the LCD screen on the back here does light up and give it a characteristic. Uh, we have ourselves a chin touch sensor here on the bottom, as well as cheek touch sensors on both sides. Now over here we have a built-in microphone as well as an obstacle avoidance sensor, a power indicator as well in the front LED. And then on the back here we have ourselves a handle which allows us to go ahead and pick up our robot as we wish, as well as a built-in speaker on the back, a power button, and a micro USB port. So overall definitely a very nice well-rounded robot. So we're also ready to go. This here's our power button and our robot is booted. Uh, you do see an LED on the front here. Obviously you can't really see it in this lighting, but uh, it's there and it does express the character or the robot itself in terms of expressions, in terms of happiness, sadness, angry, etc. Now this here is our app. Uh, so you have a few different things going on here. So we have a skill set, a remote control, missions, blocky programming, etc. Uh, so kind of looking into the skills section itself. So you unlock different skills as you do the missions, uh, but you can go ahead and unlock them and then upload them to the robot using the remote control. So we have basic uh, mode, sport mode. Sport will be like punches, um, aerobics. Uh, art would be more like dancing, like Gum Gum style, Jingle Bell, etc. And then they have a story mode as well where the character does tell you a story. Uh, in this case here, they have like Ugly Duckling and the Sleeping Beauty. And then you have the basic functions allowing you to go on like wave and do different gestures. Now, with that being said, remote control allows you to control the robot almost like an RC car. Uh, so you have two joysticks here. So the joystick on the left will go ahead and allow you to go ahead and move the character in a specific direction so we can go ahead and have him move back. So that's back. Uh, we can have him move forward. And then we can have him sidestep. 
Okay, and then the joystick on the right will allow us to go ahead and rotate it. So we can rotate it, we can rotate one direction, we can rotate it back the other way. Uh, we can have them walk forward faster, and then walk backwards faster as well. Okay, now uh, you have M1, M2, M3. These here are three different uh, setups. So you go ahead and hit plus and you can use the unlocked animations uh, and assign it to a different key. So you have all the different ones here. So kind of give you an idea what this robot can do. Like this one here is a wave dance. So you can see him kind of doing like a wave, which is kind of nice. So this here is like a dance. So we'll go ahead and cue up that music and see Panda do a little dance. So it kind of gives you an idea what that robot can do in terms of that kind of features. So M2 I kind of set up more for fighting. Uh, so this here is like a combination punch. So left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> and then here's a left foot shot so you can play soccer with this robot, just like that. And then this here is like a balance, so you'll put one foot back, kind of flap his hands about, showing that he can balance quite well. So it's actually kind of nice on how they did that. So if you click on M3 here, these here are basic functions. So for instance, this here is um, LOL. <laughs> so it does have some voice to it as well. So see that? Dissatisfied. Uh, then we have Affinity. Excitement. <laughs> Angry, that was pretty cool. See that again. Cool. And bored. Yeah, that's kind of creepy, but yeah, that's bored. So, you know, it kind of gives you an idea what this robot can do in terms of animation. It does have a good amount of variety, and you can always go ahead and unlock more. Uh, like, here's a few other examples. Okay, our robot is in auto mode. This means the robot is currently actively looking as well as actively listening. Um, Pando, hello. That's kind of weird. Why do they gotta make it sound so creepy? <laughs> All right, continuing on, we're gonna take a break from Pando for now. Moving on. So blocky programming allows us to go ahead and create a program. So I can go ahead and just name this program, like say, we'll just call it con for now. Drag and drop kind of feature. So when click start, you can go ahead and um, express an animal sound, do different dialogues, have them say something, uh, do a note. So if I click play, so kind of cool, you know, shows how you can go ahead and program it. Uh, and you can create a variety of different programs and express it through there, including his animations on his face uh, and different movements and gestures. So that's kind of nice. Now we have action programming. So action programming is a pretty cool looking feature. It allows you to go ahead and create your own custom uh, designs by simply using 
physical movements rather than programming itself. So we'll go ahead and call this one high. Uh, and then this here's our keyframe. So we'll click on this for right now and drag this part on the left. And you'll see these different locks. So right now, if I try moving the robot, he's in a lock state, meaning I cannot move him at all. However, as soon as I hit unlock the top two, I can go ahead and move his arms about. So I'll go and raise this up. And then I'll move this down like that. And then I'll lock those again. And then I'll go ahead and unlock his leg. And we'll kind of have him duck down, I guess. Okay, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and drag and drop and connect them. Now they're all connected and watch what happens. So go down, wave, put his hand down. So that's kind of cool. You know, you can go ahead and create your own custom animations and then you can export them and include them in the remote control where you can go ahead and program and create your own custom fight moves. So that's kind of nice. Now, in terms of missions go, so missions will teach you step by step how to create different th uh, things, including shaking hand, uh, sitting down, stretching right arm. So if you click on here, it will go ahead and demonstrate it. It'll show you exactly how much to move a servo, etc., and kind of create that animation. Even when you click on play, it'll show a good quick preview of the animation as well. And besides that, that's kind of it in terms of this robot. So it's a great educational platform allowing you to go ahead and create custom animations and different designs, allowing you to create, go ahead and expand on it. it, makes a great entertainment robot as well as an educational piece in terms of coding, programming. Now they have two different sets, so they have a mission set allowing to educate the user how to go ahead and create animations, as well as uh, block programming allowing you to go ahead and drag and drop and create that feature. And then of course you have the animation itself where you can go ahead and maneuver over the, the, the different servos and locking them into place based on a keyframe aspect. Now you also have these different sensors that you can go ahead and expand on that. So you can go ahead and use that and create a nice variety of different animations in terms of programming your robot to do different performances. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had any questions about the Pando robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.